The story of DNA replication, the essential process of replicating all of a cell's DNA prior to cell division, is essentially the story of four enzymes, DNA helicase, DNA primase, DNA polymerase, and DNA ligase. Throughout the course of this video, we will learn about the specific role of each of these important enzymes. The first enzyme to be discussed is DNA helicase. As you know, DNA exists as a double helix inside the cells. In order for the DNA to be replicated, the base sequence must first be accessed inside the double helix. For this to occur, the double helix must be unwound. DNA helicase accomplishes this unwinding by separating the two strands of a DNA double helix. The next enzyme of note is DNA primase. To begin the process of DNA replication, first, a short DNA sequence must be built based on the original DNA sequence template according to base pairing rules. DNA primase builds this first starting DNA sequence. Now the DNA primase has established a DNA primer built off of the original DNA strand, DNA polymerase can begin to elongate the new DNA sequence. It will bind to the 3' prime end of the DNA primer and extend, building off of that 3' prime end, the new DNA strand. As it goes, free nucleotides from the cell will be incorporated into the new DNA sequence. A new strand of DNA has been built and a new double helix established. However, you may notice that we have only built a DNA double helix on one of the two original strands. This is because DNA polymerase is an enzyme with powerful but not infinite capabilities. It can only extend off of the three prime end of a DNA molecule. Therefore, on one side of the original DNA molecule, it can proceed towards the replication fork uninterrupted, but on the other side, it must complete the replication piecemeal. DNA primase and DNA polymerase must bind multiple times and build the replicated DNA in multiple shorter pieces. Watch again, focusing particularly on the upper strand. In this case, this strand is the lagging strand. Watch how DNA primase and DNA polymerase must bind multiple times, still building new DNA molecules towards their three prime direction, but building away from the DNA replication fork, and therefore proceeding piecemeal. We call these fragments Okazaki fragments and they are built only on the lagging strand. As you may imagine, these fragments must now be linked. The fourth enzyme in our DNA replication story is DNA ligase, and its job is to link these Okazaki fragments together. Once DNA ligase has accomplished its function, you can now see that we have two full double-stranded DNA molecules and replication of the DNA is complete. Once again, it's important to think about this story in terms of the four enzymes that play an important role in accomplishing DNA replication. DNA helicase, which splits the original double helix to access the base sequence on the inside. DNA primase, which builds the initial DNA primer as a starting point for replication. DNA polymerase, which does the work of DNA elongation during the process of replication, building off of the template strand, extending onto the three prime end of the growing DNA molecule. And DNA ligase, which links together the Okazaki fragments on the lagging strand of DNA replication. If you understand all four of these enzymes and the job that they play, then you will understand DNA replication.